We have a lady on the line. I don't believe I have her name, but are you there, ma'am? Yeah, I'm right here. Yes, hello. How are you? Welcome to the show. I'm fine, alhamdulillah. Thank you for asking. Alhamdulillah. All right, alhamdulillah. <laughs> All praise be to the Messiah. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm called a Sufi Messianic Muslim. I believe that the Bible is whole with the Quran. I believe that the Quran shows that Jesus died and rose again. Wow. Because if Jesus had not uh, died as a martyr, as a shaheed, yeah. he would be a coward. So I believe that Jesus was the first Palestinian martyr. And I want everybody to know that. Yes, and I, would, I want everybody to know that. Okay. Well, yes, the Jewish Palestinian martyr. Regardless, it's the same land and it was the same ancestry, regardless of what you title it. But I would like to say that Jesus and Muhammad <laughs> taught the same exact teachings, and it stops right there. For example, okay, can, I'd like to show you. Can I ask you a question? I don't mean to cut, and I don't want you to hang up. I'll let you ask a question, but let's take it one at a time. You just mentioned Muhammad's name. You said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes, I did. Okay, well, just for the sake of the audience, translate literally what that means. Literally. It says that God's praise and peace be upon him. Okay, well done. I want everyone to make sure they heard what you just said. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. God praise and peace be upon him. So I have two questions. God for praising his name does not mean God worshiping him. Uh, you didn't let me make uh, my comment. Excuse me, please. Because no, I my... heard your comments okay, knowing that's... the times, and I came mainly to be Do heard I have to for mute my own you? sake. Do we have to mute you if you're going to talk you over me? You don't have to be rude. Okay, Nobody's can we, being rude. All right, can we mute her because she's being disrespectful? I know you're scared for me to ask questions. Don't be afraid because truth has nothing to be afraid of. So let me ask the two questions. Number one. I didn't say Allah worships Muhammad, so don't distort my, distort my words. I'll give you a thousand bucks where you show me anywhere where I said Allah worships Muhammad. Here's my question to you. Number one, why does your prophet need for you to pray for his peace if he's already in a state of peace? Can you show me anywhere in the Bible, because you said Jesus and Muhammad brought the same message. Show me, well, hold on, show me anywhere in the Bible where we're commanded to pray for the peace of Jesus. On the contrary, Jesus is our peace and he prays for us. Why do you need to pray for your prophet's peace if he's in a state of peace? And secondly, who does your God pray to when he prays for Muhammad? Go ahead. I would like to say that the Quran and the Bible have parallel teachings. No, wait a minute. Like what about the question? Questions, please. Can you answer my questions? Who does Allah pray to when he prays for Muhammad? One silly question. I came to prove a point. The, pro the point uh, I want to prove <laughs> is Hold that on. I'm sorry. This is not a teaching. program program for your agenda. You called in, we're going to interact. I asked you two questions, answer them, then you can ask me questions. Let me repeat the two questions which you're trying to dodge. Since you said Jesus and Muhammad came with the same message, can you show me anywhere in our scripture where we are to pray for the peace of Jesus? You won't find it because Jesus is the one who prays for us and he's our peace. So why are you praying for Muhammad's peace if he's in a state of peace? Secondly, who does Allah pray to when he prays for Muhammad? Two basic questions. Please answer them, because this is not a program for you to spread your agenda. Let's interact. So answer those two questions, please. I just now answered you, but you were interrupting me. I said, Jesus prays for us because he's a human being. Jesus died for us because he's a human being. Question? God is eternal. He cannot die. Even though Jesus was a manifestation of I think we're going to have to mute Allah you again. Himself. Can we mute the sister? I'm going to give her one more chance. Everyone can hear how you dodged the question and chased after red herring. Who's talking about God dying? Did you hear me talk about God dying? Let me repeat it again. If you don't answer, then we're going to have to just cut off the line because you're obviously too afraid to answer these questions. Let me try it again. So I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. You sincerely believe what you're saying, and yet you're going to answer to educate me. Did I say anything about Jesus being God? No. Not whatsoever, right? Not a bit. So that, that red herring won't wash I with me. I bear witness. That's right. You bear witness. There's... <laughs> okay. Jesus prays for us. We don't pray for his peace. That's my objection. If Jesus and Muhammad taught the same message, why do you have to pray for the peace of Muhammad if he's in a state of peace when no Christian prays for the peace of Jesus? Jesus is our peace who prays for us. It has nothing to do whether he's God or man or he died. I hope my question was clear. Related to that, who does Allah pray to when he prays for Muhammad? But you just actually answered it. Jesus prayed because he's a human being, she said, right? Mm -hmm. So is Allah a human being? That's why he prays? You see what you just did? Jesus prayed because he's a human being. Therefore, according to your logic, Allah must be a man if he prays. So can you answer those two questions? Final try. You because talking over somebody does not prove to be correct. You want to do In that? our culture, we do not disturb the dead. We don't do what? We don't disturb the dead? 
not disturb the dead. In our Middle Eastern culture, after we mention a person's name, we do say peace, be well, with them. Well, I believe them, that or everybody or here is soul. of Middle Eastern background. That's irrelevant. Yeah. By the way, she, uh, Robert, Robert, she just contradicted herself. Obviously, you're here to scream and shout, even though you're falsely accusing us of cutting you off. Because we gave you a chance, you're not answering. She says that we don't disturb the dead, right? Yeah. I'm afraid to ask her this question. She's not going to answer me right I know the question you're going to ask. Okay, so if you don't disturb the dead, so then in tashahud, when you pray five times a day, do you not say, As-salamu alayka, peace be upon you, O Prophet. As-salamu alayka, peace be upon you, O Prophet. So then, you say you don't disturb the dead, but why are you disturbing Muhammad by praying to him directly in your five daily acts of worship? Directly. We're not praying to him directly. We're praying towards the Kaaba. That's not praying towards him. We are praying but towards the Kaaba. Don't you say, don't you say, okay. peace be upon you, Muhammad? Yes. Don't so you say, as salamu alaykum? Yeah. Yes, to the person praying right beside us. No, Peace be no. with you right In your tashahud, tashahud, you say, peace be upon you, O Prophet. Not peace be upon you, O Robert. No. Peace be upon you, O Prophet, even though Muhammad has been dead for 1,400 years. If you're not going to answer our questions, then you know what? I invite you just listen and pray that God opens your heart. Because I asked you three questions you're not answering. So I don't know. If you want to continue, that's up to you. Because well, you're not answering. it really is, if you think about it, it's an extraordinary thing to be noting that Allah prays. Who is, and still, I, I still wonder, and I've never gotten an answer from that from any Muslim. <laughs> In, in 30 years now, yeah. and I have asked so many,